Hey, hey, Scrapper Names fans. It's Scrapper Names here with a new 12x12 layout for you. This gorgeous uh, cut file one for that matter. Actually, a bit of cut file, a bit of mixed media, a bit of all things bright. Uh, I'm scrapping this gorgeous photo of my little miss today, uh, who was this was taken oh, a little while ago, a while ago, I should say. Uh, and she's laying in our bed with my face pillow mask thingy on and just looking very relaxed. So what I've got here is a piece of 12 by 12 uh, Chamel Glitter Girl paper uh, and I'm just adding some clear gesso to the background because I knew I was going to add mixed media. I just didn't know whether or not it was going to be a bit of white, uh, sorry, a bit of wet mixed media or whether or not it was just going to be some, you know, easy going mixed media. So being the indecisiveness in me, I just thought I would prepare the surface in case. So just in case you are not sure, Gesso usually prepares your paper for any wet mixed media. It sort of thickens it up a little bit uh, to stop the water being absorbed by the paper so much, making it go all bendy and warped and yuck, uh, like paper does when it's wet. So what I'm doing here is I have a star stencil uh, and I'm just putting some, I actually think that I'm using a new kind of paste thing that I'd brought that day, which eh, really didn't do what I sort of thought it was going to do. So I was a bit disappointed in it. It's like a crackled paste it's called and I thought it would be all like fluffy and nice and pretty and it's really not. So unless I'm doing something wrong it's a bit crap but anyway it's you know it was not all that expensive so that was okay. I can live with it and I'll maybe I'll figure out exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, so I have this gorgeous love this cut file. Hmm, not sure where it came from actually. Hmm, I might have to try and figure that one out and pop it in the description box below for you. It might be a Paige Evans one. I do get a bit obsessed with her work, but I could be wrong. Um, I do have a couple of places cut far wise that I do favourite often. Um, there is Paige Evans, there is the beautiful um, Confessions of a Paper Addict on Etsy that I and Facebook. Um, they're my general two that I, I will get from. Um, and then just the Silhouette store in general. So what I decided to do there uh, is so my cut file I backed my cut file which you saw a snippet of I didn't show you the whole process I was going to and then changed my mind when editing this video because it was so tedious and the video was going to be too long um, so back to my cut file which can be a little bit you have to be really careful with some cut files um, when taking them off the silhouette mats because they can be really sticky and you've got the outer edge there like you would have seen me taking mine off it can be really thin so it can be a bit bendy stretchy and rip so you have to be really careful um, just so you know for anyone who is new to cut files what I'm using here is these are these I've never used them before I've got given them as a gift at Christmas um, I think they're Lindy's stamp gang and I wanted to use them because I've seen Missy wouldn't been using them in the hip kit club I think videos uh, they're I think they're like they're called magicals I think the powders or something now I don't think I used them terribly well in this so I might need some practice on or a bit more YouTubing on how they get used um, <clears throat> but my plan was to make them look a bit more magical in the background a bit starry night kind of you know dreamlike kind of thing that's why with the unicorns and the stars and the twinkle twinkles kind of thing all that pretty stuff so I sort of added a bit more powder and then I'd add a bit more water just to mix it down a little bit so the, I didn't want the I didn't want the color too concentrated uh, and too vibrant as such um, so the other thing I realized when doing this is that I probably needed a better 
paintbrush to make the water flow which I now have done so since doing this layout I ended up going and getting a new set of paintbrushes uh, and did another similar kind of layout doing this uh, and it worked much better so I think that helps as well I then went and added like this bluey grey colour just to add um, that kind of night sky kind of look. Again, yeah, I was kind of happy with how it turned out. Not quite what I'd planned. Uh, you know, not as, as probably as clever as the, the lovely, talented Missy Whidden usually does. But I gave it a hot go. So, you know, what more can you do? That's what matters, I guess. And the problem is I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so when it comes to mixed media, it's it's got to go the way I plan, otherwise I could have a really serious problem, and that usually makes it worse. So I had to really strain myself here to keep it to keep it going. But you know, you get the gist. So they're kind of like another watercolor kind of paint you can mix down. But they had like these really nice glittery kind of sparkle through them. So I, as I said, they were just in my stash. I remembered I had them after watching the videos uh, on YouTube. And I thought, oh, give them a go and just see for something a little bit different. Um, now, I did use my heat gun to obviously dry it. But to also try and move the um, paints down the page a little bit. Uh, and get things flowing a bit more. Uh, just so it popped through the background of the cut file a little bit as you can see here. So what you'll see me do now is I'm using some of my Tombow glue here uh, and I'm just going to stick my photo in the middle of the heart here. And just for something a little bit different, I was thinking about popping it up a little bit and then I changed my mind because it was a bit tedious and tricky to try and do. Um, and that was a bit painful too because I had to wait till it dried. <sighs> that was, I'm so impatient. I like to just get my layouts done once I've got an idea flowing. And I really wanted to make sure that the stars poked through the cut file. So they had to, the paint had to be to, um, to pop through without being too uh, in your face. So that's why I watered down the powders a bit more all right so now down to the ephemera so I have pulled um, a few different bits and bobs from my uh, kit uh, sorry from my stash uh, this is just a cheapy shop one here in Australia with a reject shop um, new collection or new ones that were out so I'm just pulling some bits and pieces out from that one to see what I can find here. Uh, I think, what else? We've got some pink paisley will pop in, I think, as well as some Paige Evans. Uh, but yeah, we'll wait and see. I don't make you watch through all of it, but I did want you to see the process I go through at picking and looking at where everything's going to go. Um, I'm always and maybe it's the OCD perfectionist in me, uh, where things go not to hide too much of things like the title, which is love this, um, up too much, like the letters and things like that, because I just want to make sure that that's the main point of this page. And I could have gone really crazy with the embellishments. Excuse me. But I chose not to. Now I had to pop down, uh, put that box, photo box container on top of the um, the heart and the photo and everything and stick it on top because it wouldn't stick down. It was driving me nuts. So using wet glue to stick down anything that went on top of the mixed media just because, as you know, or may not know, I guess, uh, is that... Uh, using inks and really heavy wet media requires lots of glue, lots of adhesive. 
not just a bit of double-sided tape. So I wanted to make some little clusters in and around the letters without overpowering the letters, the, the, the big title, Love This. Um, oh, that's right, Love This Wild Child. That's, that was sort of what I was going with here. I think I keep Wild Child in. That's exactly what she is. Uh, so popping some little things up here, the little brown pieces you see are some craft foam. So I'm just uh, popping little bits up on there just to add a little element of dimension because um, there isn't really any elements of dimension as yet. Um, I don't think I stuck the photo. I can't remember. I don't make you watch the whole process, just some of it. So don't, don't tune out just yet. Sort of moved away from the starry night dreamy kind of theme just to match more with what my <laughs> ephemera was so i more so went with the color than i did with the theme i think in the end or a mix of both i guess the blues and the pink tones And just really conscious not to overpower or over embellish the page because of the big title. Just as I said, little clusters, little flowered pieces here, there and around the place. Or if I use like the big pink one, I just put a little, little banner tag, a banner piece in the top corner near it. Just so, you know, here it is without saying too much. <laughs> And that uh, what else am I adding to it I had to add a flamingo her favorite favorite one of her favorite animals is flamingos so especially way back then so I'm doing a little bit of scrapping catch-up uh, and especially next week when I go to a scrapping retreat with my best friend we or me I will be catching up some scrapbooking uh my 2018 album uh so hopefully we'll do that as well as maybe finish some other projects i'm have happening so a whole weekend of scrapbooking which will be nice because i'm not getting a lot done at the late i'm not even getting videos as you can see up so that's just this will be great to have this one up on the channel for you so that is, I think, this 12 by 12 complete. As I said, I do have a couple other videos. Hopefully, I'm going to get to editing and voiceovering for you to get up uh, and try and get back to some consistency with things, uh, with my scrapping. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this layout. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. Um, and I will see you again. Next up, this is the other thing with using, just an FYI, the craft glue, is that it does, bu bu does bubble up a little bit, so you've got to really smooth it out and push it down. Um, but otherwise, all good. So yeah, here's some lovely close-ups, and I will see you again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye now.